Hello there, I am Giant Grotto and this is episode 2 of my video games that I own series. This time we are going through my Xbox collection, just my regular Xbox collection, no Xbox 360, Xbox One or anything like that. I really only have an, I only have the original Xbox, uh, I don't have an Xbox, I don't have an Xbox 360, I don't have Xbox One, but yeah. Um, yeah, let's get started. Um, see, my collection right here, it's not that big, but, uh, I do, I did, like, I still enjoy all these games to this day, probably. Um, I haven't, I should give some of these games a go, like I've said in, like, episode one of my Wii collection, where I said, like, I should give some of these games I have still another go, because I could still, you know, enjoy them. But, um, looking at this list right here, I could probably enjoy all of these Except for, um, Drake and the 99 Dragons you see right here, and, uh, Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. I'd have to, I'd have to play those again to try to get back into them, but like all the other ones, like Halo 2, for example, I could probably just play again and uh, just still like it a lot and enjoy it. So let's go through them one by one, so let's do that. Okay, first up we have Halo 2, which I don't have Halo 1 or Halo 3 or any of the Halos after that, but Halo 2 was, a. Uh, it's a really fun game. If I booted it on my Xbox again, um, I think it'd be pretty fun and still I'd enjoy it like I said earlier in this video. The thing is with my Xbox right now, it's, um, get, when I boot it up, it has a yellow ring instead of a green ring, which I think it might be broken. Hopefully I can look up how to fix it, because I do want to play some of these games again, but I just have to get my Xbox fixed or figure out what's the problem with it right now. But, uh, this is a fun game, uh, Gus I'd upped and I did a, a series on my channel of Halo 2. Uh, I don't know what happened to the videos I made, I deleted them, which I kind of regret because uh, it was a fun series. We got through the two, we went through the two player campaign mode just a little bit. Like the first couple of missions, I would say. And, um, yeah, I was like, okay, you can do two player campaign mode, um, and then you can also do four player multiplayer, which is pretty fun. I got this game when I got my Xbox. I got it from, uh, a friend, my Xbox from a friend, yeah, friend, yeah, and, um, I, um, just really like playing this game, and it's one of the first Xbox games I got, so that's awesome, I do like it a lot, and I want to give this game another go, eventually, you know, it'd be fun. Oh, also, by the way, this is the first rated M game I actually played, and I actually like, play I like, I enjoyed it a lot. I like the story and the gameplay, and it's just a good game overall, in my opinion. Next is Need for Speed Underground. Uh, this is a fun racing game. I played a lot with my friends. This is also another game I got when I first got my Xbox, so it's a really cool game. I like how in the opening it says, like, someone's, it's a something something, and then challenge everything like a whisper. In EA games, of course. EA games is awesome, you see right there. This is also Platinum Hits, and, like, I thought, I want to also play this game because it was a fun game, and, I think you can do like drag racing in this game too, which is pretty fun. So I want to give this game another go if I can fix my Xbox or see what, figure out what's wrong with it right now. The reason why it stopped wicking for right now. I don't know, maybe I can boot up my Xbox later and, uh, um, see if it works actually and doesn't, is, like if it's still broken or whatnot. So yeah, this is a fun game. I do recommend it. Um, Need for Speed Underground actually I think, I think they may have made a GameCube and a PS2 version of this too. So that's pretty cool. Here's Drake and the 99 Dra Drake of the 99 Dragons. I remember buying this game at a video game store. I think it was, uh, I think it was maybe, I think it was GameStop or EB Games at the time. I don't know. Probably EB Games at the time. But yeah, EB Games and GameStop are like the same kind of company and stuff. But yeah, I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure they're the same company. Like it was first EB Games and then the EB Games turned into GameStop eventually. And yeah. This is a fun game. I I haven't got far in this game at all, and uh, I'm really bad at this game. But uh, if I played it again, I would uh, I probably would have to play it again and get to know the controls and stuff before I could form my, my actual opinion currently about this game. Um, I uh, this game is really hard apparently in my opinion, and you know it's a fun game though. But I I don't think I'll ever beat this game honestly. But I could try. I don't know. But um, it's a fun game. Uh, I like the artwork and the art style in this game. It's pretty fun. It's very teen, so yeah, and Need for Speed Underground was rated D if you didn't see that before. <laughs> yeah. Big, we have a rated teen, I have a rated teen, I've shown a rated teen game so far from Xbox Collection, a rated E game from Xbox Collection, and then also Halo 2 was rated M, so yeah, there's that. So, 
yeah, this game is hard, and maybe I can beat it sometime in the future. I don't know. Here, I kind of changed the camera view a little bit. You saw the little lantern I had over there. I can show it off, I guess. So, uh, right there, yeah, the little lantern. <laughs> The blue lantern. Um, those actually have a high, like some, um, they're, they're bright when you turn them on, so that's pretty cool if, like, the power goes out or something and it's dark outside. It can really light up a area, so that's awesome. So yeah, anyway, back to the Xbox collection. Um, this is Tony Hawk's Underground. It's very 18, yeah, it's another Platinum Hits. Uh, I think they made this for, like, PS2. Oh, well, I'm pretty sure, I'm, like, 90% sure they made it for GameCube. And I'm maybe, like, 70% sure that I made it, they made it for PS2. But yeah, this is a fun game. You can just skate around, have fun, do the missions. Um, I'm really not good at doing all the tricks. In fact, if I played this game again, I'd probably stink at it because I don't know all the tricks. I remember triangles to like grind, but in this case, on the top of a top of a game, a uh, yeah, Xbox controller, I think it's a different um, button, of course, because you know it doesn't go by shapes, and then the X, like piece to PlayStation does for the controllers. I'll put a text over way. Um, about like what button is at the very top of the controller so it's like the grind I'm pretty sure there's like similar controls that would make sense if like the button mapping would be kind of similar because they have the same kind of button layout on GameCube not GameCube but um Xbox controller so yeah uh yeah other than that this game is really fun to play with friends and it's good to play alone I guess in story mode or whatever career mode or whatever you want to call it and uh yeah I, dec I definitely recommend this game uh I got this game I don't know where I got this game, but I know I had to buy it somewhere. So, that's cool. And it's made by Activision, which is actually a cool company in my opinion. Even though they, they don't really make that many games nowadays, but... It's just, I, I think it's still a cool video game company. Yeah, here's Activision, yeah. I didn't have the thing on the full shot yet, dang it. Oh, well, there's the full shot of the game, basically. So awesome. Nice. Here we have another Platinum Hits. It's a uh, Midnight Club 2. I don't have Midnight Club 1 or if there's a Midnight Club, Midnight Club 3. But I do remember playing this game a lot. If you wonder why this is like... I, pe I don't know why, but I peeled off... When I was like a little kid, I peeled off the like plastic cover of the front of the game case. I don't know why I did that. But yeah, um... Uh, R, R Star. I don't remember the name for this uh, company right here. But that's a good company right here. Yeah. It's very teen, so yeah. And, uh, Tony Hawk. I said, I think I said Tony Hawk Underground's to 18 as well. But yeah, this is a fun racing game. The career mode is exactly really fun. You basically have to race and then get first, and then eventually, if you keep on getting first with a certain character you pick or challenge, um, they'll give you their car basically as a prize or something. You can keep on collecting cars to race and stuff. Uh, I had, fun. I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun with this game. I mean, it's fun. And, uh, I recommend it, honestly. I do want to play this game again. I think I'd enjoy it, just like I did as a kid. So yeah, the Midnight Club 2. Haha. <laughs> awesome. Okay, we have Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy now. Uh, it's rated right teen. It's rated right by THQ. Right there, it's just right there. So uh, I think that's a really cool company. I think they made a lot of Square SpongeBob SquarePants games for like the GameCube or something. But yeah, um, this game I got. Fairly far in, but I never really beat it. I know, I think I remember what the final boss is, but, or what, I know the final boss is probably hard, cause like, I did have a friend who had a save file on this game, and he got to the very end and stuff, but uh, yeah. You know, uh, Sphinx, I guess this is Sphinx, I guess. Yeah, and it looks like he has a lightsaber or something, you know? <laughs> it's funny. So I was really good at this game though. It's a, I think it's like a platformer that's pretty cool. And yeah, just a hard game in my opinion. If I played it again, I'd have to get used to the controls and get to form my own opinion about it now. I think I would still enjoy this game a little bit, but not that much honestly. Last we have uh, Crash Nitro Kart, and it's rated E. It's made by Universal Interactive, um, which I think is a good company for video games honestly. And, uh, I had a lot of fun with this game. The racing in this game was fun. The multiplayer was fun. The crew mode was fun. I like the, the guy was a big, like, hologram. And then he was like, you have to race to get your freedom. Cause they, like, they end, in the beginning of the game, for the, uh, preview, the opening cutscene is them, is Crash and Coco and all of them. And 
Nitro and um, the bad guys also getting transported to this one area planet where they have to race to get their freedom or something so they can leave or something. And uh, I don't think I've beat this game, but I've came close to it. And uh, I like the items in this game, like the rockets and then the, um, the little traps they have and the force fields. I think, I think there's force fields in this game as items. That's pretty cool. Uh, if I played this game again, I'd probably enjoy it, you know. I like racing games, they're fun. So that is my Xbox collection. Let's see. I have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Looks like I have 7 games for the Xbox, that's pretty cool. In the next episode, we will go and do my GameCube collection next. I think I have a fair amount of GameCube games too. So I'll do the GameCube, my GameCube collection next. So yeah, this is my giant goal again. I would like to thank you again, goodbye, and hope to see you guys in my next video where I show off my GameCube collection.